Alrighty, so this is Delara Dash um, post uh, 2023 start of the season. Uh, this is the second week of the uh, Delara Dash series. Uh, this is unranked. It's the uh, important thing to remember. So, this is a fantastic car to drive. This thing is just a beast. You got 900 horsepower, you've got a ton of downforce, but you don't have so much downforce to where this is just flat out open wheel racing the entire time. There is, you know, throttle control and all that stuff that comes into play. And for an unranked series, where you're not worried about license requirements and kind of one of the main things that kept me from running a uh, C-Class uh, US open wheel stuff that primarily ran on the ovals uh, was due to that uh, license requirement. But this is a unranked thing, so you do not have to worry about that. See here, we got to use our throttle control in the turn one because this is New Texas. So this is a good combo of a car that isn't that well liked with a car that is, or track that is not very well liked. So you're gonna be uh, kind of having some fun tonight with this. All right, so for qualifying here, we're gonna try our best to get up near the front. This is unranked, and this is uh. Yeah, this is unranked, so it does carry its consequences of unranked stuff. You have the, you know, when you're in the lower splits, you've got drivers who just kind of roll around and for some reason think it's just fun to turn dead right in front of the field. Um, but I think, you know, that lack of consequence in these just kind of makes it up to drivers working together. You know, winning doesn't add to a stat on your license. It doesn't do anything outside of just ego, so... Um, yeah, but this can just be a lot of fun if you just let it be what it is, which is a unranked series where if something happens, something happens, and you got your 25 laps, it finished, it's over with, and then you uh, go on with your day. Or if you want to, if you get wrecked out and, you know, you just kind of pit-patter around after using your faster bear, you can just go run another one in the next uh, hour time slot that comes up. This series will also teach you a lot of things about, um, you know, open wheel racing on ovals that you typically don't experience if you're a, uh, you know, stock car guy. This is a really a trial by fire when it comes to these uh, oval open wheel series, specifically uh, U.S. open wheel. I'm going to not call it by its proper name uh, due to the uh, BS that's gone on with that, but... Man, we're on pull by, what is that, two thousandths at the moment? Yeah, these things are beasts, and they're just, they don't seem to have that dirty air effect that the uh, US Open Wheel stuff has. So we just kind of are going to pit patter around here, have the draft. Racing is going to be super intense, and I'm not really even focusing on what's going on, and I'm almost hitting 240 down the back straightaway. So, yeah, these things are freaking fast. All right, so for an unranked series, uh, this has one fast repair. It also has tires. Uh, looks like unlimited sets of tires to put on the car. Uh, tires aren't super important. Um, the fast repair is because there's a lot of accidents. Uh, it being unranked means that there's uh, a lot of potential for, you know, people who really don't know what they're doing, kind of getting out there and making a mistake. But uh, I think that if you run iRacing at all, you're going to have your... You know, your license that you've, you know, worked on. This thing splits when you get enough people in it. Uh, this did split. Uh, I believe, based off of us having 14 cars, I believe 28 people showed up or registered. So, but yeah, these things are beasts. Um, I know some people, if they're going to be very you know, critical on this, you know, kind of car. Um, you know, it was added to be kind of, you know, the F1 car for this, for the, uh, for the sim. Uh, it was not very well liked. It was very difficult to drive on the road courses, which is what this thing was originally built for. Um, then iRacing had their, um, agreement with Mercedes. Uh, and then that gave an actual Formula One car on this service. And if you actually look, out of the power to weight ratios, the only, 
you know, open wheel car that runs on road courses that, you know, beats this car um, in that power to weight ratio, it's the F1 car. Um, but yeah, going back to people being critical, you know, you can sit here and go, well, why don't you just, you know, put a cart, you know, open wheel car into this. Um, you know, that would be cool, but, you know, I think, you know, iRacing probably has its limitations on what it can and can't do here as we get a terrible start. These things are beasts. I mean, these are the closest thing that we're probably going to get to a cart. Um, but yeah, these things just grip. You get massive drafts in these. They're super, super, super fun. I mean, look at the speeds. 245 miles an hour. We're up to second place here. We're going to try to get that draft of the car in front. High behind is going to have the draft. Things get really skaty in three and four here. And this is also, this is New Texas. This is a, not a very well-loved racetrack, and we're going to have some serious fun here. Driving this tonight. Get a little bit tight behind there, just don't hit the wall. This is going to teach you a lot of stuff that you need to learn when you're running those open wheel cars. I suck at open wheel cars, especially on the ovals. So this is a great opportunity to just have some fun and learn. Maybe got out of the gas a little bit too much there. Yeah, but from the standpoint of a fun series where you just load up and do 25 laps, this is super, super fun. I do think this really lends itself to being a really good unranked series. I don't think this would be a great official series because I feel like it would be just a wreck fest every single race. I got to leave the inside open there for the car behind. One thing I do not want to hear right now is middle three or three. Stuck in what we can do with the leader in front. Car inside. Stay high. Stay high. I was already going a little too hard in the corner there. Yeah, but we're already halfway.
So we're getting really tight there. The car inside. Stay high with the car on the low side. Keep high. Clear. Oh, we're going to get a good run here. Sketchy. Ooh. Man, this is so much fun. Had to back out there because of the lapper. Didn't want to get too close to him. know what I'm doing here. Oh, dang it. There's 
And that was awesome. So, good job. Very good job. Yeah, that was fun. I mean, the guy over there, he went pretty fast. I mean, I always found a special run. Uh, I see the point of that. Whew. That was a lot of fun. I don't know what happened there. Looks like, uh, potentially the guy that... Ooh. That was... Intense. But, yeah. We'll go check, uh... Now, I'm looking at the replay right now, William R. Harris. Uh. Yeah, not some, some unhappy people, but... I mean, for my view, that was just... Crazy looking, so... Let's, uh, let's look at this from uh, TV1 here. Oh, he went in the grass. This is coming down to the finish here. Yeah, that was... I mean, look, we lost that by how much? Yeah, right there. I couldn't do anything because I needed to get it out underneath of him, but, uh... Yeah. That was... That was awesome. That was just... Freaking good race in there. I mean, the... Whoever was at the... What car was that? Tyler Seagreen. Yeah, that's... I mean, you can't... Can't be doing that, so... But... I mean, that was just... Hard racing. I mean, we were trying to make something out of... Getting stuck on the high line there and just... Couldn't do anything. But, yeah, this just shows just how... Freaking fun this can be... When you have good, clean racing with it. I mean, you're running... Well, how fast did we get there? End the straightaway. I mean, we were running almost 240. And then on the back stretch here, we're going to get a huge draft on him. Look at our speed here. We're running 233. 236. And then we're getting in the corner. We're scrubbing speed because we're turning. But yeah, we're hitting almost 240 at the line. Yeah, these things are fantastic if you want to check these out i recommend you know signing up for them buying yourself an iro one i know these things are really difficult on the road courses but if you want to just have some really good unranked fun please just buy this car and have some fun this is just incredible racing it's fun racing i know it's not the most finesse filled racing you know it's a little bit more finesse filled i think than what the dw12 was but I mean, this is just so much fun to do, especially when we can have finishes like that. But, yeah, if you liked uh, what you saw here today, just hit the like button. Uh, and, yeah, check out my streams whenever I'm streaming. More than likely, uh, I stream, you know, most days of the week. So if you want to check out my live tab on my YouTube channel and see what we're doing, then come check that out. But, yeah, have a good rest of your day.